Hi everyone, in this video we would be learning about open close principle which is one of the solid principle. So for that first let's check out the definition. So the definition for open close principle says that any software entities like classes, modules or functions should be open for extension but closed for modification. Now you might be confused about open for extension and close for modification, right? So, so I have highlighted that over here. So open for extension basically means that you should be able to add new features or behaviors. Okay. Whereas close for modification means although you want to add new feature, but you should not edit the existing code, right? So without modifying the existing code, we want to add new feature. This is all about open close principle. Okay. So let's understand this with an example. So we have this payment processor class, which will have one function called as process payment. And the arguments are payment type and amount. So Currently, this process payment function looks something like this. So if the payment type is PayPal, then we will pay using PayPal. If it is Stripe, then we will pay using Stripe. But let's say in future, I want to add new payment gateway like uh, uh, Google Pay. Okay. So for that, we have to come to this particular class and edit this code, right? We have to add else if statement over here like else if payment type is equals to Google pay, then pay using Google pay. Isn't it? So this is the violation of open close principle. How? Because we want to add a payment gateway, but we are modifying the same class or existing code, right? We are modifying the existing code in order to add new payment gateway. Okay. So I hope you understood this part of why OCP is violated. OCP means open close principle. Okay. So now that we know that it is being violated. So how to achieve open close principle? So let's check out that. So what I have done is I have created one interface called as payment processor, which will have that same function process payment. Okay, but it would be abstract because this is interface, right? Now, all the payment methods like PayPal, Stripe, Google Pay, etc. will have their own class where they would implement their logic. So, so this function will implement the PayPal payment logic. This will implement the Stripe payment logic and this will implement the Google Pay payment logic. Okay, so let's say in future i want to add credit card so we have to just introduce one more class which will implement this particular interface and the new class that we created will have that logic related to credit card okay so we are not touching any existing code but we are just adding new class so this is how we can achieve open close principle I hope you got this point. Without modifying the existing code, we are adding new class or new feature. Over here, uh, we are talking about new payment method. Right. So let's check out the code for violation as well as uh, for OCP. So this was the code for the violation so we have this payment class and we have the payment fun uh, pay function which will uh, check the payment type and accordingly call the logic accordingly use the logic okay so if the payment type is paypal then we would pay using paypal and if it is paytm then we would pay using paytm same thing with the Google Pay. And if in future I want to add 
stripe then i have to introduce this else if statement again so this is the violation of ocp because we are editing this payment class again and again in order to introduce new payment methods okay now let's check out the code for ocp like without violation so as discussed we would have one interface so over here i have the code for the interface which has one abstract pay function so all the different payment methods like paypal or google pay will implement this payment method interface and this pay function basically so so this is the paypal payment class and it overrides the pay function so the logic related to paypal will go inside this function okay similarly logic related to google pay payment will go into this function over here right and this is the payment class right so over here we were using if else statement if you remember so let me show you yeah so here we are using if else statement in this payment class but now we are using this dependency injection right if you don't know about dependency injection you can google this uh, i'll create a separate video on this later but for now you can just google it so what basically happens over here is so while creating the object of this payment okay so while i am creating the object of this payment i will be passing the payment method like this so if i pass google pay payment method then that google pay payment will be assigned to this payment method variable in this payment class okay using the constructor based dependency injection right so instead of google pay payment if i pass paypal payment then paypal payment object will be assigned to this payment method then if i call payment method dot pay then paypal's pay function would be called okay right i hope you got this point so currently i have passed google pay payments object so google pay payment object would be assigned to this payment method and when i called payment method dot pay then google pay's pay function would be triggered okay so in future if i want to add stripe payment then i have to just create a class for the stripe payment like this and here i just have to pass new stripe payment i just have to pass striped object payment object right so automatically that will be assigned to this variable and when we call me, uh, payment method dot pay then stripes payment method will be triggered okay so i hope you got this point so basically we are not editing or modifying this code in this particular approach right we are just creating a new class for stripe payment and we are passing the stripe object like this so we are not violating the ocp instead we are like achieving the ocp okay so i hope you got this point and yeah that was all about ocp so if you found this video useful then please like the video and subscribe to the channel thanks